Welcome to CNU Sports. We're talking with Christopher Newport volleyball coach Lindsay Birch. And Lindsay, congratulations on another terrific season, heading into the postseason now and getting ready for the Capital Athletic Conference, another undefeated season in the conference. You've got to be very happy about that. Yeah, um, it's been uh, a great season. Um, I don't want to say better than I expected, but certainly um, has been a really, really fun ride for, for the girls and our coaching staff. Um, We've, we've really put together a great season with really a, a, a young team. Um, I think maybe that part has been surprising, how, how fast they've kind of come together. But no, we're excited. We're, we're playing really well. You're 29-3 and three overall in another undefeated conference season. And I know coming from the USA South to the Capitol, you expected tougher overall competition. And I think it has been. But you've still been able to go undefeated back-to-back -back years. Yeah, I think it's been a really great accomplishment to have back-to-back -back undefeated seasons in the league. Um, it has been really, really hard work to make that happen. Um, but we're a very, very confident group. We're very, very competitive. We work every, every day very, very hard to, uh, to be the best team in the league. And um, we, we have a, a semifinal match on Thursday to hopefully advance to another conference championship. This year, of course, the captains, uh, not only 29-3 undefeated in the conference, but played some very tough opposition too. And you really seem to be every year scheduling uh, looking forward to the NCAA and playing teams that you're going to pro probably run into down the road in the NCAA. Yeah, I think it's it's always really important for us to to not only see where we are, but to um, to kind of see if we can beat some of these teams and and see if uh, you know kind of how far we can take um, you know our competitive level. This year was was a great year in that regard. We 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 did have a strong schedule and um, we won a few of those matches against really, really traditional powers, really great traditional powers. Um, and then we also had some struggles and those were just as valuable as the wins. We, we, we learned that we have a lot of work to do and we're not a finished product, um, but it's been a really good run. You're a 29 and three team and amazingly, you've got three sophomores who've given you a lot and that has to be incredibly encouraging too because these are young kids you're winning with. Yeah, and actually you could you could say a fourth, um, um, sh assuming you're counting the three front row players, but we, we have a, a, a back row player, Rachel Close, who's had a great season. Yeah, it's, it's you know, I, I knew we were going to have a good year. We had a great spring, um, you know, and the sophomores, uh, they were then freshmen last spring, were really developing and maturing and growing in their confidence. Um, but they've They've gone beyond my wildest dreams this year so fast. I'm joined now by a senior from Alexandria, Virginia, Jesse Colden. Jesse, congratulations. A great year. You're 29 and 3, and I know as a senior, you've got to be very excited at the way the team has played this year. I've definitely never been more excited for how our season has turned out. Um, being a part of a really amazing program for four years has been a blessing to me that I could never give up or exchange. But um, this year, it's something special about our team. We're very we just love each other so much and we have such a good team chemistry and everybody's worked hard in and outside of the gym to make it uh, give our record what we have right now. Undefeated season in the conference this year and I know you were a part of the USA South for two years and now the Capitol for two years and you guys have picked up uh, right where you left off in the USA South, undefeated records back to back years. It's been awesome. Um, you can never take it for granted. I mean, last night there's been some upsets already in the conference so you always have to be ready to like work hard and go out. But um, it's been really awesome to see two different conferences and be able to play at so many different schools over my four years, so I've enjoyed it. Abby McIntyre, a junior on the captain's team. Abby, congratulations on a great season. It seems like you've got a terrific group of players that uh, have really bonded this year, and I know you've got to feel a very special connection to your teammates. I mean, it's crazy to think like every one of my teammates are my best friends. I spend every waking moment with them and I'm never bored. I live with two of them. I just ate lunch with Cole. She was just here and um, it's not boring. Like I don't want to spend time with anyone else. Like I'm with them every moment and so it makes it when we're sitting on the court playing, it's not playing, we're having fun. It's just play, I'm playing with my best friends. So it, that's why I think it's so special. This year there's another uh, another thing coming because this year Christopher Newport is hosting the national championship and that's another 
uh, a carrot in front of the team more or less because you know that that'll be here at the Freeman Center November 21st through 23rd. Yeah, and the girls have talked about it more than I have. Um, my Most of my conversation has been about winning the league and taking care of business day in and day out against conference teams. Um, but they really, really want to be a part of the national championship here on their home court. Um, so I, I know that that's been a really big motivating piece of the puzzle this year for the girls and um, I hope it continues. This year Christopher Newport is hosting the national championship November 21st to 23rd and I know as, uh, as a senior you're hoping to be there playing right here at the Freeman Center. <laughs> there would be no better gift than to have my last game be at home on the Freeman Center and I think that even for the freshmen there's nothing that we want more than to win a national championship especially at home. We're so excited. We think we have a really great chance this year. We're super excited to host everything because we love our home crowd. We love our family coming down. So we're really excited just to get started with postseason. Captains will be hosting the national tournament, the national championship, November 21st through the 23rd. And I know you guys want to be there. Oh my gosh, it would be going to nationals my freshman year. I didn't believe when the seniors and the upperclassmen told us like how awesome it was until we were there and ever since then all we talk about is going back and I have no idea how awesome it would be if it was at home because I love home games now but how great would it be with Nationals at home. Seems like the team is peaking at the right time heading into the postseason, you're 29 and 3. What do you have to do to win the Capital Tournament? It's, it's obviously a, a situation where you have to play well every game. Uh, I think we just need to stay focused. We can't underestimate teams. I think when we underestimate, underestimate teams, we have a problem a little bit. But when we play CNU volleyball and we play how we play during practice and we compete, that's when we'll win. This is the 13th year of uh, Lindsey Birch coaching CNU volleyball, and this year you picked up your 400th win. And I know you're not you're not big on the personal accolades, but that's a tremendous accomplishment. Congratulations. Thank you. You know, if um, if you have to pass a milestone, you want you want to do it with a team that you really enjoy, and uh, I'm pretty sure I'll always remember 400 because this team has been so special. CNU volleyball getting ready for the postseason as the captain's heading.